can see that there's a little ledge just in front of uh, where I want to fish. You can see the surf build up there, look, and then dump down on it. That's going to be something, if I was to get a bigger fish here, that's something to um, be careful of when you bring the fish in. Obviously, you don't want it being sucked out to sea as you're trying to pull it in, or you'll lose the fish off the hook. But we had a bit of a storm yesterday and uh, I'm hoping that it's calmed down enough now that there might be some fish on the feed, maybe an early bass. I think I'm less likely to get placed today, that water's uh, very coloured, but you never know. And then looking at these conditions, I'm not sure whether 5 ounces is going to be enough to hold bottom here. I might struggle a bit, I can always move around to the harbour side of the wall. Uh, but I'm going to give it a go with that 5 ounce lead. Just tying on a loop rig here so the braid straight on. And then as for the bait, I'm going to use a lugworm, thread the lugworm on. I've got my back to the wind as well. I've got a, um, a razor, and a bit of a cocktail of a bait and I'm going to I'm just going to wrap that on with uh, the bait elastic. I've been using the 5 ounce leads like this with the clip uh, actually on the lead. I find that a lot easier. So you make the rigs up so that the bottom hook will just clip onto the lead. Just the one rod today. I'm going to be up against it I think. Problem with this loop rig, it's a little bit snaggy. <laughs> right, then this one, the top snood then clips on there, and then the bottom one hooks on there. Now, what you've got is that. It's always worth checking uh, what the tide's brought in, if there's any clues for the fishing. To be honest, I spend a lot of time just picking up bloody rubbish. Uh, there might be some clues somewhere. Uh, dogfish there. You can see it's a really windy day. Uh, this is the remnants of the storm, the recent storm we've had. Forget the name of it, what's it called? That was the one. Um, and it really... And you can see what it does to the water here. Um, it's really hard to fish. I've had a six ounce lead into that up there and it's almost coming back onto my feet so... <laughs> Uh, what I've done, there's this, um, so what I've done, there's a wall out here for the harbour. It's recently been done, they put a load of uh, blocks there. And I'm just going to move across. Um, it's a lot calmer here. I've still got the wind on my back. But we'll give it a go in here for half an hour or so. You've got this gully water as well starting. I think, I'm not 100% I'm not sure, I've got a feeling it's organic uh, matter out of the rivers and off after the last high tide um, and it just hangs around, it's called may rot sometimes and uh, it can kill the obviously for lure fishing and stuff like that into May, it can really really uh, kill it, but it's around early this year. Good storm normally pushes it offshore and then it, it settles, disperses and then settles. So. so here I've got a, a lug and so this is a size. Oh. Now I've got a huge welly of a bite here. Really into that, see what we got. Oh, 
Yeah. Got something. Oh yeah. Let's just keep keep going nice and steady on this. Beautiful. Oh, that's a good size eel. Oh, look at that. Oh. Right, let's try and get it back in as soon as I can. nicely hooked should be easy enough to get in again it's nice to have something a bit different with the eel I've probably got a bit overexcited it is only an eel at the end of the day but um, better than all these rockling we've been getting recently uh, it'd be great if you could sign up for our 15 tips to catch more bass that's an ebook that you can uh, have downloaded to your computer it's all free uh, another free giveaway that we're doing is a downloadable and printable sea fishing catch report card uh, don't forget we've got the website up and running now at www.saltwaterangler.co.uk uh, We've got the Facebook page, we're on Instagram as well, Saltwater Angler And we've also started a, a WhatsApp group as well If you're interested in any of those it's in the notes underneath Or by all means send me an email at matt at saltwaterangler.co.uk So again, um, just about saved from a blank <laughs> I'm really hoping I can uh, catch some more interesting species as the months roll on as well. Try and get those on film.